right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So you guys, uh, the difference between a prop, the difference between a properly greased fifth wheel skid plate and a non-greased fifth wheel skid plate. All right, so here we have a properly greased fifth wheel skid plate. It was recently greased a few days ago. Um, I haven't put a trailer on here since because I haven't got a load. I'm sitting here waiting on the load. But anyways, uh, this is an example of a properly greased fifth wheel skid plate. There's no dry marks anywhere it's not ashy um, they use a glue gun to, to um, place the grease onto it here as you can see it goes in a little circular motion here spiral motion uh, this is a properly fifth properly grease fifth wheel split plate yeah. come over here see a little bit more Now I'm going to show you a fifth wheel skid plate doesn't have any grease on it at all. All right, here we go. As you can see here, it's not properly greased, it's ashy. You can see the little white marks on in here. You know, it's dirty. There's, there's, literally, there's literally no grease on here at all. I can touch it with my fingers and there's nothing there. You know, because you're not, you're not really supposed to touch the fifth wheel skid plate grease, fifth wheel grease, barehanded anyways, because it gets stuck on your fingers, but this is an example of a fifth wheel skid plate that is not properly greased. You want to be driving around on a trailer with this thing here, you want to grease it first. Put some petroleum jelly on that thing. No, don't do that. But yeah, this is an example of a fifth wheel skid plate that is not properly greased. It's all ashy, it's dry, no dust on it, dirt. Looks like it hasn't been greased in weeks. Yeah. All right. There it is. And I am out. Peace.